My name is Alex McIntosh. I'm a scientist and senior manager of research at Acuity Insights. And today, I'll go through the CASPER assessment from test day to score delivery. So Lucy's a fourth year undergrad, and she's getting ready to apply for a master's in business administration. She has her transcript ready, she's prepared her CV, and now she's ready to take CASPER. And so when Lucy logs in to take CASPER, she's presented with 14 different situational dilemmas or scenarios. And for Lucy, the first scenario, she sees her role on screen right here. Then the video starts and she watches these two students talking about a third group member named Paul. They say that they saw Paul posting pictures of a vacation, but the group seems to think that he was supposed to be on medical leave from school. I just, I don't think it's fair that while we're here doing his part of the project, he's sitting on a beach. What do you think we should do? On the next page, Lucy's given a series of questions about the scenario and she begins to type out her response. For the first question, she writes, I would start a dialogue with Paul on social media to see what's going on. Depending on that conversation, I might advise the group to approach the professor about our suspicions. I may also encourage our group to find resources to help support us and Paul. Now, at the exact same time, hundreds or maybe thousands of other applicants are logged in and taking Casper. They will also encounter this scenario, and in figuring out what to do about Paul, they'll be using their own unique experiences. After applicants complete the test, their responses are sent off to rating. May is a trained rater ready to evaluate applicant responses. She's done implicit bias training. She has experience reviewing these types of scenarios. And now she'll rate the responses for that group project scenario that we saw Lucy writing. But first, May's going to watch the video. She's going to read the prompts that the applicant saw. And she's also going to review our rater resources. These are guiding questions like, did the applicant's rationale demonstrate empathy, compassion, and regard for the best interest of everyone involved? She'll also look at contextual information about how the scenario links with core aspects of interpersonal skills and situational judgment. For example, in this scenario, May the Raider will be reminded that applicants should empathize with both the group and with Paul and to verify any anecdotal evidence before making assumptions that could jeopardize someone's health or privacy. So when May is looking at Lucy's response, perhaps May thinks the applicant does well to consider perspectives of both the group and Paul and shows regard for the best interest of everyone involved. She assigns this a score of seven out of nine. May then comes across Jim's response that says, I would recommend they notify the professor. Paul would have said something about having a mental health issue. It's not very fair to the rest of the group. Now, although both responses suggest speaking to the professor, compared to the other responses May has read, she thinks Jim's response is not particularly empathetic to both the group and to Paul. May also finds that this response jumps to conclusions and makes assumptions without considering Paul's health or privacy. She assigns it a two out of nine. May then goes on to rate maybe hundreds of other responses for the same scenario before logging off for the day. And this is the process for just one of 14 scenarios. The second scenario is rated by a different rater and so on and so on until by the end, Lucy and Jim will have had the chance to navigate 14 different situations and will have had to communicate their decisions and their rationale to 14 different raters. The Casper score captures these 14 impressions. Lucy's score placed her in the 80th percentile among the top of all applicants she wrote with. Jim's score placed him in the 25th percentile, indicating that the raters evaluated most other applicants more favorably. And so the Casper score gives programs insight into how Lucy compares to Jim in various aspects of interpersonal skill and situational judgment. Programs can use Casper early in their admissions process alongside metrics like GPA or personal statements or standardized test scores. So if you want to learn more, please feel free to visit acuityinsights.com or contact me directly. Thanks.